Hey guys, I'm taking you with me today to Value Village. I'm about to do 20 minutes and spend $20 and hopefully get out of here pretty quickly. So we'll see how this goes. I was in the area, so I stopped by and thought I'd turn this into a Thrifty Thursdays video. You can see right behind me, I'm at Value Village. It's here in Tigard. Stay tuned. See what goodies okay, I So heard. I just walked in and I just checked out the books in like art section. Um, I set my timer for 20 minutes, so now I'm gonna go look for jackets and coats, which is what I'm shopping for, and any other good vintage goodies I find. setting pots of plants on or reselling, I don't know. And then two pillowcases, this one. Yeah, so I'm doing the soft goods section now. this really cool green coat kind of looks 60s looks like it's wool but I'm really excited about what's in my cart okay this is the red leather 80s jacket it's kind of cool it's $17 a little bit more than I want to pay it is really warm I don't know I don't know if I'd like wear it as much as I would wear my other jackets, but it's a cool piece. So these two pieces are vintage Pyrex, and I know they're worth a bit of money and they're good for reselling, but specifically I wanted to find yellow ones to go with my kitchen. And they have the lids, which are nose rare, so I'm super stoked about these. Alright friends, so I probably spent maybe 45 minutes in there and I was only trying to do 20 but I tried on stuff at the end and then stopped by the jewelry case on my way to the register and got a little distracted, but that's okay. I'm super and most excited about those vintage yellow Pyrex um, glassware Tupperware pieces. I've been actually thinking and manifesting that I wanted to get some yellow or green um, like 50 style Pyrex pieces for my kitchen and now that I found these pieces I can't wait to make some casseroles uh, Maybe some tuna noodle casserole is gonna happen this week or I can bake some bread in it um, Yeah, or maybe not use them because I know that they are highly collectible um, But I think I have now started my journey on the Pyrex game Super stoked about that mad girls vintage. Hey, what's up? I know you're the Pyrex queen and you love Pyrexes Tell me what you know about these uh, I'll show a haul in a moment when I get home and hopefully I can beat some Portland traffic so I don't run into too much time suck on the road back home to Portland. So yeah, hopefully this has been fun for you. I'll try to edit this and make it kind of more entertaining with maybe some voiceovers if I'm mumbling um, and then also I'll do my haul at the end so you can see all the goodies. Yay! <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Miss Honey Lavender. Um, I'm your host, Jordan Jones, a Portland blogger and influencer on uh, MissHoneyLavender.com. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at, at MissHoneyLavender. And today I'm going to get into this haul here and show you what I picked up at Savers yesterday. Um, and just jump into it. So some of you might have seen in the videos before that I had found these amazing Pyrex glassware. Let me show you what they look like. This first one is called the Buttermilk Collection. Um, it's like a golden yellow and it has this like matching um, top lid. Now I think I picked this up for like $5.99 
Um, it's a special type of glassware that you can bake in. Uh, they're from the 50s to 70s. I think this one might have come out in 70. It doesn't have the year on it, but it does say Made in USA Ovenware 27. So um, I'm really excited because with winter and the cold weather, I love to cook and bake at home. So this kind of casserole dish is perfect for making like a little bread or putting leftovers in or making a little casserole or something. So yeah, this was the first piece and I'm super excited about it. All right, so next one is a big boy and it's yellow. As many of you know, I love primary colors and I especially love the color yellow, red, or blue, and some pops of green. But check out this lid. It's so 70s, it's not even funny. I love the juxtaposition of the yellow with the brown. And this thing, I already put it to use last night. I made pumpkin bread, so the lid comes off. And I think I paid $8.99 for this guy, and you can already see. I literally just baked a pumpkin bread mix and put it in here and yeah it's already like storage in addition to being baked in this glassware so yeah these are my two amazing vintage um, pyrex pieces i picked up i know these kind of pieces are collectible and lots of people go crazy for pyrex and now i've started my journey i'm just really excited about the yellow coloration too anything yellow blue or green but mostly yellow because my kitchen is yellow uh and it kind of has a 50s vibe with the color scheme that's in there so these will match my decor perfectly and i'll probably end up displaying them on some shelves in there so maybe i'll add in some clips and you can see how that looks mixed in here in the video or just stay tuned I know moving on okay want to see what's next the next item I picked up was this vintage state tray now this one says it's from Montana and I know these are also vintage and collectible I've seen different states before where there have been California designs I want to find an Oregon State or Washington but yeah, it says Yellowstone National Park and then has all the little landmarks in there. I thought it was really cute. These kind of trays are perfect for like display, putting a plant on top of, putting on top of your coffee table, anything like that. Or even serving if you have guests over and you wanna like, I don't know, do a charcuterie board or something. So yeah, pick this up. I will be adding this into my Miss Honey Lavender like a vintage Instagram account for when I do flash sales. So, and when I do pop-ups, so this will be an item that I picked up for reselling basically unless I can find a use for it in my home but as of right now I'm not like needing it so I would like to sell it pass it along so that's the next item pretty stoked about that <laughs> staying in the theme with glassware I did find these really amazing um, plates now they may not look like too much to you but they are a gold trim it says they're produced in base Brazil, not basil, exclusively for Avon Products Incorporated, fine porcelain hand decorated with 22 karat gold trim. Avon Products established in 1978. So you can see all the trademarking on the back there. Um, I actually used these last night and served the pumpkin bread on these with a glass of milk for dessert. It was lovely. Um, these again might be something I wanna sell with my vintage shop or you know, I've been playing with using these in my current decor and in my kitchen, and I've been enjoying them. Uh, since they are gold trim and they are an Avon product, Avon's a company that has been around for a long time, and they are vintage, so they also could be worth a pretty penny. I'm still trying to figure out researching uh, price points on these guys, so if you guys know anything about Avon vintage plates, let me know. I would appreciate that. And then moving on, I have... random but I collect um, bedding sometimes so this is just like a white lace simple uh, pillowcase I'm constantly switching out my pillowcases because I get vintage ones and put them on my pillows like this one but this guy is literally falling apart so I'll probably switch it out wash this and put this one on here um, yeah that's an easy way that I like to mix up my bedding and home decor especially my bedroom is to play with bedding so whenever I find like a nice basic to switch in and out and upgrade, I pick it up because this was literally only like a dollar ninety nine. Price tag still on here somewhere. Oh yeah, a dollar twenty nine. So this was a score. And I think the 
the last pieces I bought were jewelry because you guys know I like to make jewelry and I like to reconstruct jewelry but sometimes I thrift for pieces either to wear or to take apart and reconstruct so these next two pieces are nice ones I found in the display case as I was about to leave I, I should have like cleaned these up and put them on maybe to model for you but this is like a fork like a bracelet isn't that cool look at the clasp and actually fits on my wrist perfectly and even if I don't end up wearing this I will resell it I figured but I'm definitely gonna play with it and wear it there we go <laughs> in my everyday outfits for now because I like to stack this kind of stuff and wear different kind of jewelry and it just looks really cool like it's the kind of piece if you look at it you have to go in closer and be like oh my gosh it's a fork I have another ring that's like also a fork that's wrapped around with a stone that I wear. I bought that in San Francisco. So uh, silverware jewelry has been popular for many years. So I don't know, I'm stoked on this. This was $7.99. And as far as I can tell, it's probably sterling silver. Um, so I'll probably clean it up and then yeah, another nice jewelry piece, maybe worth something. This next one is a necklace I saw in the case. Now, I didn't quite like know if I loved it at first. I'm not even sure what kind of stone that is. If you guys know, please comment below and let me know. But the main thing on the back here, it said sterling. Probably doing a bad job focusing. And I figured since it said sterling and then there's a stone set in here, I can clean up this bezel and it's probably like a nice stone. It looks like it could be like tiger's eye, but I know tiger's eye is more like brown and orange and then this chain it could also be gold I just like it too because I could wear this but also I could maybe mix and remake something else out of it this jewelry piece also was $7.99 and then that's my haul I tried on those coats if you've seen those previ previous video at least and it just wasn't working for me so I skipped out on the coats and just came home with some fun homewares um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed this Thrifty Thursday um, thrift haul. And if you have any questions about my outfit or anything about what you saw today or how to thrift, um, let me know and I'll answer them. Or if you want to see any other videos like that in the future, feel free to let me know. I'm also wearing some of my new favorite finds too, like this hat. I picked it up at a local vintage shop called Workshop Vintage really awesome I don't have a black hat uh, or I've been looking for one so I thought this would be perfect and then this top I got at the Portland flea market it's from the 70s um, and I love this like white on white floral print and then I found this um, jacket also at the Portland flea market it's Eddie Bauer got it for five dollars and I'm pretty sure I got the shirt for like 10 or 12 dollars so score and then lastly are these earrings um these are from my friend shop goldilocks or goldilocks designs i'll link her below in the description box but it's my friend sarah she has an etsy shop she makes really cool pieces yeah and that's it for today um hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend may this inspire you and go out and go shopping at thrift stores and buy secondhand and just you know find your style through used goods it's so much more fun and unique that way Anyways, bye. Thanks for watching and for following. Ta-ta for now.